hello friends in this video we will see another problem related to the profit and loss so the problem is a trader by means of his by means of his false balance by means of his false balance defrauds defrauds on I mean defrauds to the extent of to the extent of 10 percentage in buying goods in buying goods and also and also defrauds to defrauds to 10 percentage in selling in selling so find the find the profit percentage find the profit or gain percentage okay so what happened a trader by means of his false balance he defrauds to extent of 10 percentage in buying the goods and all and also he defrauds 10 percentage in selling selling also so we have to find the profit of again let us assume the actual uh, let us assume there are 100 articles are there and the cost price of 100 articles is 100 rupees 100 rupees let us assume okay but what when actually this trader what he is doing by means of his false balance he differs to the extent of 10 percentage in buying goods so that means he is buying 110 articles for 100 rupees for 100 rupees why because he is defrauding of 10 percentage in buying goods okay so the 10 percentage of 100 is going to be what 10 so that means the articles he is buying is 110 articles in 100 rupees okay so that means actually he is defrauding of 10 articles here okay so 100 articles cost is 100 rupees but actually what he is doing by defrauding actually he is buying 110 articles for 100 rupees so that means the cost to price of each article each article is equal to how much so 100 rupees by 110 article so that is going to be equal to 10 by 11 so by differing 10 percentage okay so the cost price of each article is 10 by 11 rupees okay so this is the cost price and what he is doing in buying goods and also he differs 10 percentage in selling the article 10 percent let us assume 100 articles are there so 100 articles he has to sell for 100 rupees but what he is doing he is defrauding 10 percentage in selling so that means that we have to subtract 10 percentage from this one so that is 90 articles so he is selling 90 articles for 100 rupees why because he is defrauding 10 percentage in selling so that means he is selling only 90 articles to the 100 rupees so in this case the selling price of okay the selling price of each article is equal to how much so 100 to by 90 so that is going to be equal to 10 by 9 rupees okay so now we have to find the profit or gain percentage we know that gain percentage is given by selling price minus cost price by cost price into 100 so here what happened we know the selling price that is how much 10 by 9 minus uh, cost price that is 10 by 11 each article is mean 10 by 11 by so cost price that is 10 by 11 into 100 okay 10 by 11 into 100 so this is going to be equal to so from this one i am taking 10 out so 10 10 10 all 10 are cancelled okay so 1 by 9 minus 1 by 11 into 11 into 100 okay so this is going to be uh, 11 9 is 
two okay two into I mean eleven minus two into eleven into hundred okay so eleven nine are ninety nine so it is going to be equal to it is going to be equal to two into hundred two hundred by nine so two hundred by nine is equal to going to be twenty two two nine by percentage so this is the gain percentage right so first we find the cost price of each or for each article uh, with respect to the defraud of ten percentage in buying articles and here we find the selling price of each article with respect to the defraud to the ten percentage in selling so after that we calculated the gain percentage and we got that one as a twenty two two by nine percentage so I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel.